Good evening. Most people call me Chris, which is much easier. Um, my name's Chris Peoples. I'm an at-large director of AC Transit. And I gotta say, I think this is a very important organization to be set up, and I encourage you to do it and to move <coughs> along with it. But I think you're a long way there. Um, I first met Ram Singh when we were dealing with the, the potential of having the 99 serve the Gurdwara. And he really did it right. And I don't know whether it was Bob's advice or, or just <laughs> knowing how to do things. But they literally spent two years working with our planning staff, working with the planning staff and the public work staff in Fremont. We held hearings. Unfortunately, the people in the neighborhood didn't go to any of them, so it's, it got really nuts. Um, but we were able to put in that service because of, of not a group of people coming once, but Ram Singh coming again and again and figuring out who we had to talk to, both the politicians, but also staff understand what their issues were, et cetera. It's an ongoing issue. It's stuff we have to learn stuff and 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 move along. Um, but you really have to thank Senator Corbett and Assemblymember Tirico, who've gotten Caltrans to put up two thirds of the money for a stoplight, which will sort of solve everybody's problem. But the the real issue is process wise. <coughs> Ram Singh did it, and he did it right. And I think if that can be broadened out turned into an organization so that, you know, I can't tell you how many groups before whom I've stood. Um, I'm an at-large member, which means I represent the entire AC Transit District, <coughs> from Fremont to Richmond, from the hills to the bay, 1.4 million people. And it's important to have elected officials stand up in front of you and tell you what they're about, what they, what they think, and to have you ask questions about your issues, because that's the way we get educated. We read things, we, we look at things from staff, but it's interacting with people in candidate forums, when they bring their issues to us, et cetera, is the way, is the way us politicians really learn. So I, I would encourage you to do this. Um, I was lucky enough as a kid that my parents impressed upon me my heritage, I went to École Notre Dame de Victoire in San Francisco for school, so I learned French from being a little kid all, all the way up forward. But that's something that is, I think, in America of critical importance. You know what the old joke is, what do you call somebody who speaks three languages? Trilingual. What do you call somebody who speaks two languages? Bilingual. What do you call somebody who speaks one language? Lingual. American. <laughs> um, and I, I, I always get very frustrated at the fights about multilingual education. Because you teach people when they're two, and they can speak two languages just absolutely naturally. <coughs> and it is, you know, the language I the, the second language I speak is French. It's not all that difficult from English in terms of syntax and all that stuff. But it's different enough that I understand the critical importance of being able to use language to see through somebody else's eyes. And I would encourage all of you, either through political work with schools and all that stuff, to make sure that all of your kids continue to speak your language so that they understand you, they understand your parents, if you're lucky enough to have grandparents so the kids' great-grandparents are still alive, they understand them. So, but AC Transit doesn't do much with that. I have encouraged AC Transit for a whole number of years. Um, I've been on the board 11 years, and to recognize the fact that we have a huge South Asian community in the southern part of our district, and that it's extremely diverse. It's Indians, it's Pakistanis, it's Sikhs. There are, you know, all sorts of folks. And to, to do outreach with them, I'm very proud of the fact that we now have a number of Punjabi drivers. Um, and a number of seat drivers. And I would hope that many of you would consider AC Transit as a potential place to work. But anyway, I'm, I've probably gone on too long, so I will give this back to Ron, but thank you very much for inviting me.